Hello, my name is Azalia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to resize a document or template using Canva, how to then download that document and re-upload it into Canva so that you can print multiple copies per page and then we'll cover how to print your final design. So the first thing you want to do is just double check that all of the details on your template are correct. So just making sure that you've added the correct name with the spelling, the date and time, the address and the contact telephone number. Um, the principles in today's video covers all designs that you create in Canva. So for today's video, we are just going to be using a baby shower invitation template. But as mentioned, you can use the same principles for all templates. So don't worry if you're watching this and you're using a different template. So we'll just firstly cover how to resize a template. So what you want to do after you've checked everything is up here on the left hand side at the top, you should see a small button that says resize. So you just want to go ahead and click on that. So what you want to do is you want to add in these two boxes, the dimensions that you want to change your template to. So let's say, for example, you want to change it to a six by 10. What you want to do actually is the first thing is just to click this box here and it gives you a number of options um, in terms of the metrics. So the first one is pixels, inches, millimeters and centimeters. So you just want to check, um, you know, what you want to change it to and then select that before you add in your dimension. So we're just going to change it to inches and then we're going to do just as an example six by ten so six inches along the bottom and then the height will be eight inches so we will add that in and then what you want to do is and what I would recommend is to press copy and resize now the reason I recommend to copy and resize is because it will keep the original copy of your template and the reason why that's important is because if you do go ahead and resize it and something is amiss with your template for some reason at least you have the original copy that you can go back to and start from scratch whereas if you just resize the document and something doesn't go quite right then it might be a bit more tricky to undo that action. Um, so as you can see, this is now a six by eight size and um, that's ready to go if that's the size that you wanted. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go back to the original size, which is five by seven. Now, let's say if you want to resize this and you want to change the height or length. So let's say in inches, you change it to seven by five. And then once you've changed it, as you can see, because the height and the length is slightly different, um, the template is now more centered. What you can do is just simply move these elements out so that the flowers and any other designs that might be on your template are a little bit more evenly spaced out. Now, if you've done that and you feel, as you can see here, that it's a little bit um, sparse, so it's not really covered as much as you'd like it to be, what you can do is click on one of the, flower, one of the flowers. And then what you can do is on the right hand side at the top, you should see a little icon with a plus sign. And that is the duplicate button. So what you can do is just press that and it will make another one so it will just duplicate the flower that you've had so we can just do that again and then you can just keep doing that until you have a design that you're happy with
So just to recap with the resizing, so you start with your original template and then on the left hand side at the top you press resize and then you select the metrics that you want whether it's pixels, inches, millimeters or centimeters and then you add in your dimensions that you want and you can press resize if you just want it to change the dimensions in the document that you're in or you can press copy and resize which will then open your new design in a new tab on your computer. So the next thing is how to download and then re-upload your design into Canva so that you can print multiple copies per page. So once you've decided that you're happy with it, it's the right size, what you want to do is press download on the right hand side at the top and then you want to download it as a PNG file and this is because in order to re-upload it into Canva it needs to be in a PNG or JPEG um, format. So we'll press PNG and then press download. Okay, so that should be ready. And then what we can do is, what you can do is just drag that file into this section here. Now in the instruction sheet that you would have received in your download pack, there should be a link to a grid, which looks like this. And once you've opened the link to this grid, which should be at the bottom of that PDF file, what you can do is press uploads here on the left hand side, and you should see the file that you've dragged from you, that you've downloaded. So once you've got that in this section here, all you have to do is just select your file, hold it and drag it into the grid. So that's done that. And then we'll just do that again and drag it into the grid. That's all you need to do. There's no resizing that you need to do as long as it's the five by seven dimension. And then you'll have two ready to print copies on the A4 page. Now, once you've done that and you feel that you're ready to print your design, what you want to do is then press download on the right hand side at the top. And then you want to press PDF print. Once you've done that, it might be helpful to select crop marks and bleed. And that will help you to have the crop marks on your download so that it makes it a little bit easier to print. And then once you've done that, you can press on your download. And then as you can see here, you've got two copies of your template on the page and you've got your crop marks on the top just to help give you a little bit of a guide as to where to trim. And that is today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Thank you.